The year is 3051. Humanity has spread out amongst the stars, bringing their hopes, their fears, and their wars. The great houses and clans vie for territory and honor, using gigantic fighting machines known as battle mechs. You as a child of that conflict are about to join that war. Some control, Captain Adams, ready for another one? More meat for the grinder, huh? Just patch me through. Welcome, recruit, to your first taste of iron and steel. My job is to make it a little less likely for you to crash and burn the moment you step on the battlefield. Let's drop you down here where you won't get your ass shot off right away. You're sitting on top of a fusion reactor in a multi-ton war machine the size of a building. <laughs> Time to learn how to use it. This is your augmented training hut. On your, on your left, the checklist. It shows your objectives and activities. Have a look around your cockpit. And when you're ready, power up your battle mech. Reactor online. Sensors online. All systems nominal. So that's the complicated HUD you're looking at. And that's why we're giving you access to a field menu. Here you've got buttons for game settings. Click away at the display to pop up more information. Hit escape again to get back in control of your battle mech. To help you learn the controls, your mech comes equipped with a cheat sheet. Press and hold F1 at any time if you need a reminder what button does what. Try it now. Now you know where to look. Don't forget it's there. Use it. First things first, let's get that battle mech moving. A battle mech drives like a tank. The me Ignore that fact, and you'll find yourself jammed up wondering why you're not moving. Now, since you're a raw recruit, you get extra help to show where your legs are pointing. Look down. That arrow shows you where your legs are pointing. The mech will move in that direction. There it is. You found it. That arrow points forward for the mech, no matter where you're looking. Well, off you go. Hey, don't scratch the paint. There's no strafing or sidestepping in a battle mech. You've got to turn to change direction. This 
shifts your legs so they line up with where you're looking. This brings your view over around on top. You now have the basics to controlling all battle mechs. And now, let's look at your weapons. The status of each of your weapons is displayed in the lower right of your HUD. Weapons are clustered into groups that fire together when triggered. I'll just enable your weapons and off you go. Weapons? Battle mechs can be configured in hundreds of ways. Those are small lasers. They... That's a large laser mounted on your right arm. Ballistic weapons run cool and have higher rates of fire, but they Small lasers have a limited range and can do a lot of damage up close. Those are short-range missiles. Missile on Your arms are now unlocked and can move freely. Alpha Strike fires all weapons at once. The extra reticule shows where your arms are aiming. Weapons mounted on your arms can aim. Those are medium lasers. Well, congratulations. I'm thoroughly con. Okay, you get one for free. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. Make your way out of the landing zone to the next stage. That's a waypoint. The blue smoke and symbol marks it as an objective to go to. That symbol appears on your compass and battle grid minimap. Off you go. Work your way over there and run through the smoke. Don't get lost. You made it. Now let's see how well you drive that battle mech. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. Follow the arrows. And make your way through each yellow marker as fast as you can before the clock runs out. Start the challenge by going through the green start marker. Congrats, recruit. You made it through. So let's see what's... See those pillars of light? They mark the starting point for an academy challenge. That one reruns the pilot challenge for a chance to earn any awards you missed. That one leads on to the next stage. Basic targeting. Just walk into the light. 